Hello my friend, time to mount the engine. I got these universal engine mount. Uh, they are pretty universal, especially because they are absolutely symmetrical. They are just round. They look like hockey puck. What I'm going to do, I will mount them here in the gearbox and create a mount around it. Uh, the level gearbox takes two of these, so I will just put them there, uh, modify it slightly so I can put the bigger bolt. This is for eight. 8mm, I will put 10mm bolt there, just with these. And same thing for the engine mount. Uh, I put it high strength bolt here, don't worry, oh, great. Uh, these washers have a huge advantage that uh, I can stick them up as much as I want uh, and fine tune the pinion angle in the end. So I have the right you know, angle of the drive shaft, uh, so it will not vibrate digital angle meter it shows different angles uh, so I will use this uh, to dial the engine uh, the car is already level so now I will have to level the engine in the car so for that I need to have gearbox mount and the engine mount on the car and uh, I will weld all these things on the car uh, so it will precisely fit so there will be a lot of Fiddling, I will probably not shoot everything, but I will for sure uh, show you part of the process and the final product. So wish me luck. This is the first time I'm doing it, uh, but I'm watching a lot of Skid Factory, so I hope I learned something from Full Boy Oda. Engine is one degree. So let's check out the mount. So we're just half a degree off. Half a degree off. I think this that's fine. Okay. So the engine is again in, in and out, in and out. You know the drill. <laughs> so I cut these little foam boxes. They are identical. So let's try to block the engine. So it's exactly in the center and then I need to figure out the pinion angle, which is the angle of the engine. Start welding the mount. The engine is aligned, it's all leveled, looks like the hood can clear. It's straight, uh, which is kind of challenging. Uh, looks like I'm where I want to be. 
look at this it's 0 .5, 0 0.5 degrees off I would say within a degree of anything uh, I don't care really uh, because that thing is not accurate enough anyway uh, I have the engine mounts there and I have the transmission mount there let's check it out so I'm using this advanced technology called a rope uh, to center line the drive shaft so it's in the middle I got also this magnetic thing so yeah uh, we're all leveled, uh, this number shows the same number as on top of the engine, so I mean the gearbox is straight. I can check out the angle of the engine here. I cannot read it, you can read it. Which is four, three and a half degrees. That should be within acceptable range. It's really comfy here, I will spend a lot of time here this week. These are my beautiful engine mounts, uh, I worked on them last two days, last two evenings. Let's measure everything all over again and weld them into the subframe. Let's check out everything one more time because I was touching it. Now they are cleaned up and prepared. Zero. That's cool. Uh, then I've got this mark here. lines up again one millimeter so the engine from the top is lining up uh, let's measure the gearbox also this high man is 2, 0.2 off I call it good enough 72 so it's 36 centimeters like this and you can check out the drive shaft angle it says 89.8 which is really good let's burn this fucker in fingers crossed time to weld it Front engine mounts are tucked in, check it out. I'll weld them properly later. And now time to make gearbox mounts.
the gearbox mount is fighting me. I had the issues with the welder, uh, I didn't have the right bolts, uh, then I broke the drill, then it was falling on me all the time, like bloody hell. This is a glorious moment. The engine holds itself in the car. The important question, will the hood fit? I hope it will fit over the intake, but this oil filler neck for sure will not fit. This is the clearance. This is a box of cigarettes. I think here is the issue actually. This shot is not for you. This one is for me. I need to see whether it will fit actually. I will check it on the phone. I can close the hood so it will be functional car eventually one day. <laughs> Unfortunately it's pretty far from doing burnouts for distance but they will come I believe it. That's it for the I don't know for next time I will take out uh, the subframe and the gearbox mount and weld it up properly. Uh, maybe send it to power coating. I need to do service on the engine and I need to weld all this all these holes I create it's taking a shape the engine is in the car really so I'm really happy so see ya next time and don't forget to subscribe and like and you know see ya